inside California's high-speed rail, San Francisco to San Jose. The San Francisco to San Jose segment stands as a pivotal cornerstone within the expansive tapestry of California's high-speed rail initiative. This visionary project, aimed at seamlessly connecting communities stretching from the bustling urban hub of San Francisco to the technological epicenter of Silicon Valley and beyond, unfolds in a series of intricately planned phases. Among these, the San Francisco to San Jose corridor emerges with distinct characteristics, setting it apart from other segments through a legislative mandate defining its alignment. In the intricate dance of regional governance and legislative foresight, the San Francisco to San Jose stretch is not merely a railway segment. It represents a convergence of legal frameworks, collaborative agreements, and technological innovation. Unlike its counterparts, this segment's trajectory has been intricately shaped by the directives laid out in Senate Bill SB 1029 and a network of multi-agency agreements, underscoring a nuanced approach to infrastructure development. Embedded within the essence of this corridor is a narrative of collaboration, where the realms of high-speed rail and Caltrain seamlessly intersect. The travel route stitches together vital nodes at 4th and King in San Francisco, Milbray SFO, strategically located near the bustling San Francisco International Airport and the pivotal San Jose Diridon Station. These stations, more than mere points on a map, become the connective tissue of a transportation network designed to transcend traditional boundaries. The collaborative efforts between Caltrain and the California High-Speed Rail Authority unfold in the symphony of electrification. This transformative process, currently underway, signifies more than a shift in power sources. It marks a paradigm shift in rail operations. The envisioned outcome is a harmonious blend where Caltrain and high-speed rail coexist sharing tracks and converging at the Salesforce Transit Center, a symbolic nexus that supplants Caltrain's 4th and King Station as the northern terminus for high-speed rail trains. In the intricate ballet leading up to this juncture, the Authority's Board of Directors assumes a central role. Their imprimatur, bestowed upon the final Environmental Impact Report, Environmental Impact Statement, EIR-EIS, in August 2022, is emblematic of a commitment to a carefully chosen alignment. This alignment intricately interwoven with the concurrent Caltrain electrification project not only supports existing rail infrastructure, but also lays the groundwork for the seamless integration of high-speed rail operations within the corridor. Beyond the stations and tracks, the chosen alignment introduces a tapestry of features essential to the project's success. High-speed rail stations in key locales including San Francisco, Milbray, and San Jose, become hubs of connectivity and mobility. The plan extends further, manifesting in the construction of a light maintenance facility, LMF, on the eastern fringes of the Caltrain Corridor in Brisbane. This facility, a backstage player in the grand production of transportation, embodies a commitment to operational efficiency and the meticulous care required for high-speed rail service. Safety and speed enhancements emerge as pivotal threads in this intricate narrative. The alignment's blueprint includes provisions for operations at a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour, a testament to a commitment to efficiency without compromising safety. In the mosaic of infrastructure planning, these enhancements serve as keystones, solidifying the project's vision of a modern and secure transportation option for the denizens of the region. This collaborative endeavor between Caltrain and the Authority extends beyond the physical realm of tracks and stations. It represents a harmonious fusion of expertise, vision, and shared commitment to transforming traditional transportation landscapes. The ongoing electrification process, coupled with the meticulously planned alignment and infrastructure improvements, reflects a collective aspiration to birth a transportation system that transcends the mundane and embraces the future. California's long-awaited high-speed rail system faces mounting challenges, with inflation and supply chain disruptions propelling the project's estimated cost to nearly $128 billion, marking a staggering $10 billion increase. 
Agency officials attribute these hurdles to the reverberating impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on global supply chains, causing market instability and inflation, particularly affecting construction commodities like concrete and steel, along with labor costs. Published on March 1st, the report from the California High Speed Rail Authority reveals not only financial strains, but also a sobering projection of reduced ridership on the 500-mile rail system connecting San Francisco to Los Angeles Anaheim. The ramifications of pandemic-induced shifts in travel behavior, coupled with the broader economic slowdown, are reflected in estimates indicating 25% fewer riders than initially anticipated. Brian Kelly, the CEO of the High Speed Rail Authority, underscores the far-reaching effects of market instability, stating that the project, like many large infrastructure endeavors worldwide, has felt the repercussions. This revelation has fueled a heated debate leading to calls to abandon the project, especially as the larger budget inflates the cost per mile to approximately $206.4 million, a staggering 57% surge within just one year. The rising dissent finds voices in figures like State Senate Minority Leader Brian Jones and California Republican Party Chairwoman Jessica Millen Patterson, who criticized the project underlining concerns of escalating costs, delayed timelines, and a lack of substantial progress. The San Jose Mercury News and East Bay Times echo these sentiments, editorially criticizing the rail system's persistent delays and cost escalations, calling for a pragmatic approach to cut losses and halt further investment in what they describe as an unrealistic venture. Financially, the project faces a shortfall, having secured only about one-third of the necessary funds. Originating from a voter-approved initiative in 2008, Prop 1A, promising completion by 2020 at a cost of $33 billion, the reality is starkly different. Despite receiving funds from various sources, including federal grants, the project has yet to lay tracks, emphasizing the growing disparity between promises and actual progress. The current budget shortfall, coupled with denied federal grants, prompts the authority to continue seeking assistance, expressing optimism in its partnership with the Biden-Harris administration. In the labyrinth of California's transportation landscape, the high-speed rail project was envisioned as a game-changer, promising to transport passengers between the Bay Area and Los Angeles Sash Anaheim in just 2.5 hours, all while embracing environmentally friendly clean energy. However, this vision now contends with a harsh reality revised estimates suggest a decline in ridership to 31.3 million in 2040, significantly lower than initial projections. The drop in ridership is multifaceted, rooted in the broader context of California's social and economic landscape. Factors such as slower population and economic growth, exacerbated by the loss of 700,000 residents in the past year, due to reasons ranging from high taxes to a challenging business environment and stringent environmental regulations, contribute to the sobering outlook. Remote work trends and the lingering impact of the COVID-19 pandemic further compound these challenges. Despite these headwinds, the High Speed Rail Authority remains steadfast in its commitment, projecting the completion of a 171-mile segment between Merced and Bakersfield by the end of 2029. This determination, however, unfolds against a backdrop of skepticism, with critics emphasizing the need for a reassessment of the project's feasibility and a strategic reallocation of resources. In the saga of California's high-speed rail, what was once a beacon of modern transportation now faces a critical juncture. The narrative spans from ambitious beginnings, marked by voter approval and financial commitments, to the current crossroads defined by escalating costs, delays, and a shifting transportation landscape. The project's fate hangs in the balance, as state and federal officials grapple with tough decisions, whether to press forward, adjust course, or, as some voices suggest, to cut losses and terminate an endeavor that, at present, seems mired in uncertainty. As the high-speed rail project progresses, the San Francisco to San Jose section becomes not just a physical link,
but a metaphorical microcosm of the broader challenges and opportunities intrinsic to colossal infrastructure initiatives, legislative clarity, collaborative prowess, and environmental considerations surface as recurring motifs, underscoring the intricate tapestry woven by stakeholders navigating the complexities of alignment, electrification, and safety enhancements. Will the project see green light in near future? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting railway updates.